We up, I hope. How you doing, guys? I hope this is not an indication of my day, and I've got a lot going on as we're closing the month. We've got deliveries, we've got orders, we've got lots of questions. It's Corvette season, and I got a printer that doesn't work, but that's okay. We'll be back. I want to talk about the very last, the real very last order cycle for 2024. All right, guys, I had another fun day at the National Corvette Museum. You're going to see a future video, not right now, but the entire boulevard was covered in Z06 deliveries. We've got a weird, wacky situation before we get into the very, the real, very last cycle for 2024 ordering. This car here is staged and ready for delivery. Although the deal is not complete, that means it's an opportunity for you guys to buy this car. Contact me directly at the information that's up on the screen. Let me go through this car with you real quick. This was... Now, the one I delivered earlier that you're going to see in a future video was the most expensive Z06 I've had all year. This was a close second place, if not third place, and it is a gorgeous spec. We'll go on the inside in just a second. It's a Seawolf Gray 3LZ with the carbon fiber, the exposed carbon fiber wheels. And this stripe is just fantastic. It goes with the yellow stitching inside, the seatbelts, the caliper. And you can see this right here just beautifully done. Exposed carbon fiber ground effects, it has the grill guards. I'll give you the full listing here in just a second. You guys gotta, let me just walk around the car real quick. The one thing I say about Seawolf Gray, you've gotta find a way to accent the car. The carbon fiber, the wheels, the caliper, the striping, the ground effects make this car smoking hot, man. So it's prepped, it's ready to go. It's here at the National Corvette Museum. It could be yours. Now look at the inside, guys. Yes, competition sports seats, yellow stitching and seat belt, carbon fiber steering wheel, yellow up in there, level two carbon fiber, stealth package, all weather Jake mats, more of your level two carbon fiber. It is a front lift car. And then if you can see up on the dash, the spears, that's part of your level two carbon fiber. Just an absolutely stunning vehicle. Now there's a ton of accessories, literally a ton. The most I've ever seen. So many that in fact, both the front and the rear trunk are full of GM Corvette accessories. We've got the luggage in here. We've got the red intake, the appearance package, the cross brace. I mean, I, I, mean, I gotta get, I'll break out the sheet here in a second and tell you everything. She's basically a hard-loaded car. Let's look at the front end. <laughs> I'm not even going to dig all this stuff out. I just want you to see that if you decide to buy this car, don't bring any luggage because you're not going to fit anything in the car. Everything is packed in here. I think this is a first aid kit, and this is like a roadside assistance kit, and there's, oh my goodness, there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. It's a great looking car, guys. All right, there's a ton of stuff here on this car. Let me just read it down to you top to bottom so we don't miss a darn thing. Uh, again, giving you a wonderful, op wonderful opportunity to hear that every day in your driveway. It's a 3LZ Coupe, Seawolf Gray, competition sport seats, stealth interior trim, engine intake in red, the Coupe engine appearance package, exposed in the visible carbon fiber ground effects, visible carbon fiber roof, the carbon flash with yellow accent, full dual length racing stripes, and it looks great. It looks fantastic. Oh, let's see Wolf Gray. Engine lighting package, battery protection package, front lift, level two carbon fiber, carbon ceramic brakes, yellow calipers, black exhaust tips, the carbon fiber steering wheel with the suede accents, the roadside safety package, the contoured liner package, so you'll get the liners in the front trunk and the rear, as well as the interior Jake all-weather mats. Visible carbon fiber wheels. It's a museum delivery option. It also has the roof panel storage pouch. Uh, yeah, that's page two. Uh, the strut tower brace, black lug nuts, black wheel locks, and it has, as you saw in the back earlier, the uh, set of leather weekend travel bags. Rear fascia protector, scrape armor grill guards, it actually has, now we showed you the all-weather mats, it'll come with a standard black mat, yellow stitch. It also has the Z06 logo mats with the yellow stitch. Also has an indoor car cover. Yellow seatbelt, yellow stitching, 
and carbon flash center caps. I don't really want to go into the details on why this car is available, been available. I've been down here three times to deliver it. Um, should have pulled the uh, trigger a little sooner, but thank you for watching and giving us an opportunity to earn your business. And I'd love to come back down and see you take delivery of this great looking car. Sea Wolf Gray is growing in popularity and it is a stunner. Uh, it's a showstopper if it's equipped right. If, and as you guys can see, it's beautiful. It is equipped right. Thank you for the opportunity. Again, contact me, information up on the screen. It's crazy busy right now. We're gonna focus on this car. We're gonna focus on 24 orders, closing the month and 24 deliveries. Any other questions, please, they're gonna to have to wait. Just don't have time. We've gotta take care of the most important thing right now, and that is current business. Lots of time to talk about 25 stuff, and we'll do that sooner than you think. Guys, what did you think of that Sea Wolf Gray car? I told you, if you accent Sea Wolf Gray properly, it is an absolute stunner. And that car, oh my gosh, is a stunner. Thank you for the consideration and the opportunities. Uh, the printer's still not working. Let's talk about order constraints. This was supposed to be, in the first memo we got from Chevrolet, this was supposed to be the first order cycle for 2025. They've changed that twice. Now you are dealing with what I deal with on a daily basis. So here we go. The true very last order cycle for 2024 Corvette. And then we'll talk just a little bit in hypotheticals for the ZR1. All right, folks, in this last order cycle, it does look like there's going to be allocations for folks out there uh, in E-Ray, Stingray, and Z06. Across the board, all three models, we thought maybe with this extension of one more cycle that maybe they'd bring back some of the canceled colors in limited quantities. No, it's, it's over for Silver Flare, Cacti, Accelerate Yellow, Amplify Orange, Ceramic Gray, Carbon Flash, in hypersonic gray, no longer able to be ordered on C8. We'll talk more about that here in a second in our hypotheticals with ZR1. So if you've got an E-Ray allocation, uh, congratulations, that's a very limited production car. And I think, and I think it's fair to say right now, we're seeing the trend of its life cycle. It's going to be very controlled and a little bit more limited than many of us anticipated. I talk a little bit more about E-Ray and uh, what I thought about E-Ray driving it on track. Uh, that's coming up this Sunday. Really excited to share that with you guys. And also too, let me just get off track for this report. Um, I've got this track day that I'm hosting coming up on Monday, October 14th. On Sunday, I'll give you a link, a little bit of a discount in that link. You can join us for the new level one course at NCM Motorsports Park. I've got t-shirts and hats that's going to be made if you're participating. And I just decided yesterday, because there's an autocross component to this, there's two sessions of that. I'm going to make two really cool trophies that you can get if you beat me in the autocross. And the only way you get the trophy is if you beat me. <laughs> that's that's some fun. It's like, wow, well, I'm getting in your head already, aren't I? Okay, looking forward to seeing you guys. All right, 24 ordering for E-Ray. If you have an allocation, there are Oh, you're going to come on now? Yeah, screw you. Uh, if you have an allocation, there are no constraints other than the colors that we just mentioned. Getting into Stingray, the Q9i gloss black wheel, uh, that is limited to 67 quantity in the country. So there's a few out there. 1LT packages limited to 133 in the country. And non-Z51 and Z51 suspensions, again, why that's controlled, I, I don't know, but it is. Sometimes it's not a lack of parts. Sometimes it's too many parts, and they're gearing you to what they need to move. So here we go. Constraint quantities for non-Z51, 299 for the nation. Z51, 365 in this last order cycle for 2024. And last but not least, Z06. And just when I get a couple of extra allocations, I can't get what most of you want. The high wing in either carbon flash finish or visible carbon fiber, zero availability for the country, not available in this last order cycle. Even the ground effects, where you get the extended ground effects of that beautiful front end splitter uh, in the visible carbon fiber and or carbon flash, those are limited to 22 in the country. Ceramic brakes are limited to 88 in the nation. And it looks like the uh, black spider forged wheel, that's limited to 175. And that'll be it for the constraints for this last cycle of 2024 Corvette. Let's talk about 
about some hypotheticals with ZR1? Some of you folks shared with me, you got that. I didn't sign up for it this time because I'm exhausted, but I didn't sign up for the marketing emails. You know, here comes the ZR1. Uh, you guys shared that with me because up until that email, they have never said what model year this car is. And the email said 2025 ZR1. Oh yeah, there's still a chance this could be a 25. I said all along, I think that it makes sense. I think that we're gearing toward that it's going to be a 26. I shared with you what Taj said at the bash that the reveal coming up in July, which is going to be in Miami, by the way, at July 25th, that reveal is a reveal of the reveal. And my sources have said that the actual launch is in January. So if they're going to reveal the information and give you the specs and the capabilities of the car, you're not going to see the full car because of the big rumor about a new interior, a refresh, if you will, coming in 20. Well, they could do what I said. One of the scenarios we talked about months ago could be a short cycle of 25. And with them cutting down all these colors, it looks like the 25 is set up to be that kind of tweener cycle between 24 and 26, bridging that gap with just, you know, some cars, but not going crazy because you don't really have a lot to offer. And there's really not a lot of changes for 25. A couple of cool colors. And, and that's about it. And they've extended the start of 25 production. Is that because, in fact, of ZR1. So they could start production. They're going to reveal what it is. Maybe we start ordering. But if you don't have the full details, how are you ordering a car that is just an initial limited reveal? But let's just say they do, okay? And we start ordering cars in the fall and they start coming in January. So you have, we've talked about this before months ago, you have a half a year production of ZR1, very limited car. Overall, guys, a lot of people are, hey, I want to get ZR1, ZR1. Guys, this is not in any stretch of the imagination going to be a volume car. I just don't think they can, even if they have the parts to build it. Remember, all these specialty cars take more time. And GM, what do they want to do? They want to build more cars. They don't want to build less cars. So the specialty cars are going to get what they're going to get, and that's going to be it. So you could see a half a year production of 25, and the 26 fires up, you know, about this time next year as it normally does. Or you could see an early reveal of 26, as we said, in January, late winter, or early spring, and then you have that longer span of a 26 production, just like they did in 2018 when they revealed the ZR1 Corvette that really spanned about a year and a half as a 2019 model, bridging the gap to the 2020 C8 launch. So whatever it is and whatever it's going to be, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be spectacular. It's going to be historic, just like the C8 Corvette has been. Let me know again if you're interested in that car. Contact me directly. Email cell numbers up on the screen. Also, leave a comment on today's video. Does your head hurt? Are you getting dizzy talking about production constraints and if this starts when and if it could start here, it could start there? That's our, that's our Corvette life, man. So let's just lay it out there and have a fun conversation. Appreciate you joining me. Don't forget to join me Sunday. I'm going to share with you that new level one experience at NCM Motorsports Park in which I'm hosting on Monday, October 14th. You can join me there. We're going to have so much fun. T-shirts and hats for participants. And if you beat me, if, hmm, <laughs> get a little too cocky. Hey, if I can't beat you on the track, I'm going to beat you right here. <laughs> we got a couple of trophies. If you beat me on the autocross, this is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to participate and share this with you guys. Have a great day. Thanks for watching today.